it's like a lot of people, they say, I want my life to be meaningful, but they don't know enough for their life to be meaningful. How do you have a life, meaningful life? You have a meaningful life by learning stuff. It, that's the only way, is that you learn about things that you can create meaning with, you know? And learning, and this is the thing, learning comes either you interact with parents or family or, or friends who know something that teach you, or you read. Yeah. And reading, you need good advice as to what to read because there's so much stuff out there. You don't want to waste your time with reading the wrong things. Yeah. I mean, that's like, even through, uh, how do you even like stay up to date of everything that's constantly happening in the world? You know, you, no, you, you can't and you don't have to, but you have to read enough. Like, you know, I could tell you, like, what are the sources that you should sort of just get your basic information about. And you read enough to know enough about problems until you pick what you're passionate about. And then that's what you invest your time in. Because you can't, you can't keep up with everything. That's just not possible. But you just choose what you want to make a difference on. And you say, okay, this is what I really want to make a difference about. And then you invest your time into that and your energy into that. And so at this stage, like, you know, uh, like if you are looking at a source like Democracy Now!, well, you could learn a lot de a, a lot about your the world you live in from a, just one source, like Democracy Now! Yeah. I mean, I, use, I think a lot of the news I look at is on CNN, which is... Yeah, I mean, it's you know, sort of just like flags the general issues. But CNN, you know, will not. It's still corporate media. It's still corporate media because it like won't talk about how the U.S. supported the coup in Egypt. Yeah, no, I mean a lot or, of stuff in you know, CNN is like stuff to do with celebrities. And it's like yeah, I kind of skip that. C stuff. CNN in the past, like thirty years ago, used to actually be a good source of news, but it got bought out by big money, and. You know, it like actively censors anything that's meaningful. No. But I mean, if you if you want to, you know, we could tell you like some of the sources that, of that at least tells you something about the real world that you live in, and that's the real challenge. It's like you know, I I feel bad for a lot of. Um, even, you know, even in law school, which is after college, you know, even in law school, I find like a lot of kids, they're lost, they're without direction. I mean, that's how a lot of kids are today, I think. I mean, even my friends, like, I don't think anyone really knows what they want to do with their lives. And but, but if, like, there are, there are a lot of students who, like, are passive, it's like, okay, I'm lost, but at the same time, they're not trying to, they, they don't do anything to try to be found, right? And then there are students, and I can always tell in my class the students who, who you can tell, like recognize that you are a valuable source of experience and information, so they do everything in their capacity to learn from you. And, and I can always tell that these are the students who are going to be at the head of the curve in the future. Like these are the leaders of tomorrow because they're assertive, because they just don't, you know, sit back and, you know, a lot of times when I'm teaching, I can tell that some of my students are surfing the web or, you know, looking at their social media or whatever. but. In every class, there are a few students that I always can tell these are going to be the success stories of tomorrow. Just because of their attitude, you know, just because they 
they're paying attention and they ask questions and they, they push the info. They don't just sit back and let it happen. It's like they, they take charge for their own for their own interests and their own intellect. They want to learn and and they have the attitude like that it's their right to learn. Like, you know, I'm here, I've paid a lot of money to be here, um, this is a huge investment, and I'm gonna make sure I get my money's worth in knowledge. Well, you know, unfortunately, then you have like a lot of students that, you know, I, I don't even remember by the time where the, you know, the class is done, I don't even remember their name. You know, some, some of them will even meet me like years later and say, oh, I was your student in this class and I won't even remember because they were, they didn't make an impact at all. They were in nobody. And some students I can never forget. You know, they're, they're just, you know, the, all these challenges you're talking about require that you just, you have to take responsibility for your own soul and your own intellect. You can't, you can't just drift in this world anymore. You can't drift. It, it's, um, you know, you, you say, no, I, I'm going to learn and explore and find out what I am, what, why God put me on this earth. Because God put you on this earth for a reason. You just have to discover why.